when Nancy Nam assigned me this project, I assumed that it would be a cakewalk for me. I imagined my speech just to consist of my name, age, hobbies, education, and so on. But when it actually came to brainstorming, it was not as simple as I had expected it to be. I introspected myself quite a lot of times and found out that I can be impulsive or that I have mood swings out of the blue. After quite a lot of trial and error, this was what I could come up with. Hello everyone, my name is Samir K. Roy. Today, I would like to share the story of my life until now, straight from the heart. Starting from the absolute beginning, what does Samyak mean? In Sanskrit, Samyak means good, while in Hindi, it means to be complete and perfect. My arrival into this world was planned grandly. My parents had made extensive arrangements, starting with my name. Before my birth, my mother read the holy book Gita and selected this word for my name. I had a whale of a time in my early childhood. I completed my primary education with flying colors, but middle school got quite challenging. In this chapter of my life, I faced many health issues, especially allergies. Someday I had a severe cold and the next day I had rashes or maybe a headache. One thing would lead to another and a chain reaction would begin. I have been undergoing treatment for the past four to five years. However, it has almost no effect on my oversensitive immune system. It always pressed me for time. And sometimes I even had to lose opportunities that were outweighed by my health. Whenever I am in a pensive mood, I tell myself that all of this, it is just a blessing in disguise. Because of these health issues, I am forced to be time effective and disciplined. Lord Buddha advises the eightfold path to attain peace and happiness. And this is a path which I do follow according to my necessities. It goes something like this. The first one is Samyak Drishti. I feel that if our perspective is positive, then we would always think about the solution and forget the problem completely. Moving on to Samyak Sankalp. I think that nothing is permanent in life. So all of my health problems and the issues I face today will be gone. The next ones are Samyak Va and Samyak Karma. I try to be mindful at all times and do my work diligently. I also make sure that I hurt no one with both my actions and words. The forthcoming ones are Samyak Vyayam and Samyak Smriti. I try to be healthy with both my food habits and exercise, which can be either through yoga or through dance. As a child, it is quite difficult for me to meditate, considering the fickle mind I have. But I do manage to take out a few minutes to meditate each and every day. The final ones are Samyak Samadhi and Samyak Ajeev. It is very difficult to attain these last ones because I am still a tween and I have a long way to go. A small yet significant incident I would like to share was when I joined the Art of Living Children's Camp. I lived with children of different cultures and I was out of my comfort zone. I was secluded from modern devices and technology. But the most important lesson I learned was that great things happen only out of your comfort zone. Now, I am ready to challenge myself and learn something new each and every day. Another crucible of mine was when I was learning skating. I skated quite consciously in the first few classes. And because of this, I was not able to skate very fast. My teacher recognized my fear of falling. And from that day on, he would make me trip. He would push me. He would pull me. He would make me fall on purpose. And then he taught me how to protect yourself from falling. After a few classes, I overcame this fear of falling. But this fear not only vanished from skating, but from every new thing I tried. And that also be for public speaking. My curiosity always pulls me towards the vast universe where millions of things remain completely undiscovered. 
so I aspire to be an astrophysicist when I grow up. Everyone at Speaker Circle consider themselves to be learners, indifferent of all the differences they have between them. I hope that I will continue learning and rectify myself wherever and whenever I go wrong. This was the introspection of my journey till now, straight from the heart. Thank you.